take a look at some circles. Okay, so got a couple of formulas for a circle. First, area equals pi r squared for a circle. You gotta know that. And circumference equals pi, pi times diameter. Okay, um, and diameter is twice pi. Okay, so we gotta know, our twice radius, sorry. Gotta know that. So let's look at a, a few questions here. Um, okay, radius equals five. What is area? Okay, that's be a common one. Okay, so again, we have area equals pi r squared. Okay, area equals pi, pi squared. 5 squared is 25, right? Area equals 25 pi. Okay, pretty uh, pretty straightforward. Yeah, as long as we know area equals pi r squared, um, you're not going to be asked to uh, convert pi, right? Like pi equals 3.14 and then like 20 other digits. Um, just the answer will be in terms of pi. So that makes it a little bit easier. Okay. Now, if the radius equals five, the circumference. Okay, so in this one, we gotta know if a radius is five, diameter is twice radius. Okay, so if a radius is five, diameter is 10. Okay, now, pretty simple to solve, right? So circumference equals pi times diameter. Pi times 10 would usually be written as 10 pi. Okay, so give it, it that will happen often though, right? Where well, they'll give you diameter, you need to find radius, or backwards, right? They give you radius, you need to find diameter, right? So diameter is twice radius. Oop, I'll erase our equation. Well, this one. Diameter equals 20. What is area? Okay, so we know that area equals pi r squared. Okay, it's pi. Now, if the diameter is 20, radius is what? Right, radius is half as big as diameter. Right? So if the diameter is 20, radius is 10. Area equals pi times 10 squared, right? We're almost done. All that's left is to know that 10 squared equals 100. An area then equals 100 pi. Okay. 